Hey, shalom, shalom. Let's start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to our heavenly power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well in time of this truth. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to the elect, all right? I'm your brother Shemayan, coming back with another lesson. I am from the diligent soldier camp out here in Boston, Massachusetts. All right, let's get straight to it. Uh, let me see, let me put the not disturb. So the, the name of this lesson, I think I'm going to title it, title it, um, Israelite granny or Israelite grandma is, is right or is correct. Something around those lines, right? Israelite grandma, Israelite granny is right or is correct. Anyways, I found this video, which was, uh, uh, it, it, it was, it was, it was beautiful. Let's just put it that way, because what she was saying was right, you know, that's the title of it. But what she was saying was was right, you know, and, and you know, there's always certain Israelites that, you know, a lot of our people got the zeal, man, but not according to knowledge, you know. A lot of our people got the zeal, and, and, and they truly, you know, they somewhat believe the word Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is the scriptures, you know, but like I said, not according to knowledge, because they don't have the full understanding. For an example, right? When I was when I was a little boy, I remember it was a certain time that my mother she told me, you know, uh, and I don't want to make this too long, you know, but she told me that that the Lord is gonna come back with fire, right? And ironically, she told me that her grandma told her that, and, and that's the spirit because. Yeah, how about Shimmy Shai put the spirit on 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 her grandma, right? Now her mother told put the spirit on my mother's grandmother to pass that down to my mother so that one day my mother can pass it down to me. And then the Lord had the spirit that I never heard that ever come out in the Catholic Church. Cause I, I grew up in a Catholic uh home or whatever. And I never heard that. I didn't even know that you couldn't eat pork, you know what I mean? And I didn't even know that was in the in the scriptures. I thought that was like a Muslim shit until, you know what I mean, the spirit had me to stop eating pork way before the truth, which the water, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. And then once I came into the truth, they were like, you know, you can't eat pork. I was like, I don't eat pork, but but I didn't know I, I didn't know we couldn't eat pork. I just chose that as, as a, you know, as like a life decision, if you will. And that's the Lord because all man's going to of the Lord, you know, and then he and then. You know, uh, whoever taught me, you know, always in the spirit of, uh, of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai passed down to the men of Great Millstone GMS who taught anybody else that it's an offshoot camp or or the fruit of GMS, right? They taught me where that was in the scriptures. So same thing with this this scenario, right? My mother told me, and then I came into the truth, and then I realized that, you know, the scriptures speak about how the Lord is never going to flood the whole world again. And then it speaks about the second death, the the the, the lake of fire, right? The coming of Yahweh Shai, you see? And, and, and it's all it's all it's all beautiful, right? That's what I said earlier. You know, like what this what this grandma is saying is beautiful because she's right. It's the truth. You know, and let's get straight to it. I got a, I got a few scriptures I want to bring out. I don't want to make this too long. You know, and you probably you uh, uh, sincere watchers, you know, probably already seen this video. But, you know, just for the uh, the sincere, the sincere uh, 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 babes in the truth, you know, and anybody that is an Israelite that's sincere and wants to learn. So that being said, I'm going to play the video. I hope I hope it works. I hope you can hear it. Grandma, what about the earthquake that just happened? That's God's will. God let you, God shook it. If man could have stopped it, man would have stopped it. I I I hear the building shaking. Man built the building, but God got the earth. Man couldn't do nothing with that. But God shook it. Let him know he got the whole world in his hand. The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world. The world and they that dwell therein. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Grandma, grandma is on fire, man. She's right. She's absolutely right. Everything she said was on point. So now I'm going to replay it again and then, you know, bring out a couple, a couple scriptures. Grandma, what about the earthquake that just happened? That's God's will. God let you. God shook it. 
That's God's will. Right? God, God shook it, meaning the Lord created that earthquake. You know? If man could have stopped it, man would have stopped it. If man could have stopped it, man would have stopped it. I, I, I hear the building shaking. Man build the building, but God got the earth. You see, man out here building, building, right? So man create building, but the Lord brought it down or, or the Lord, uh, you know, in, in other earthquakes, the Lord brings it down. But in this case, you know, man is building, building and, and, and that won't stop it from coming down if it's the Lord's will. So let me get a couple of scriptures, right? It's beautiful. I'm going to start at, uh, 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 I'm going to start at Psalms 95 verse four, right? It says, in his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is also is his also. So in his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. Right? The sea is his and he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, Yahweh, our maker. That's powerful, man. It's beautiful, man. And, and, and I, I, I thank you, how Shimei Shah for making me an Israelite, for allowing me to be part of his chosen nation because, because Yahweh is the God of all. He's the all-powerful, the almighty Yahweh, right? The heavenly father, right? Yahweh. And, and, and he has a nation that belongs to him and it's us, the Israelites. That's, that's beautiful, man. Because all nations are going to bow down to the Lord when, once Yahweh Shah come back. I still see all these other nations praying, all these other gods and shit. But the Lord, the Lord is the heavenly father. He is the almighty of all, of all existence. You see, everybody's going to kneel down to the Lord, man. All these gods ain't going to do shit in the time of tribulation, in a time of earthquakes. Right? There was an earthquake that happened in the Middle East a couple years ago. I think it was in Turkey, if I'm not mistaken, around that area. What happened to your God? What happened to Allah? You know, anyways, anyway, and, and you can't say when earthquakes happen to our people, what happened to you? God, no, because we're telling you the earth was going to come and two thirds of our people is going to be destroyed. And then even one third, the elect, the 144 out of the one third that are a martyr for the Lord. You can't say what happened to you, God, because because in the time of the Yahweh Shai return, the ones that are martyred in Yahweh Shai are going to be the first ones to rise up and meet Yahweh Shai in the chariots. So he that laughs last laughed the hardest. You know, there's a scripture that, that, that says that the, the, the end of the thing is better than the beginning of it. All right. So from there, let's get Ecclesiastes 8 and 18 and 3. Who governeth the world? Right. Because this grandma, she was saying this is God's world. This is his world. Right. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand and all the things obey his will for he is the king of all. By his power, dividing holy things among them from profane. Right? That's the Lord. That's Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Right? That's the Lord, man. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. For he is the king of all. By his power, dividing holy things among them from profane. That's Ecclesiastic. It's also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 3. Right? From there, let's go to Proverbs 30 and 4. Right? Who has ascended up into the heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? Right. And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Right. That's Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh. Right. Which means he exists. And Yahweh Shai. Right. Which he is a deliverer. Right. He is a savior. He is the redeemer. Right. Yahweh. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Man. Our Lord. Control everything. You see. Everything, everything, every judgment that comes, uh, are, uh, earthquakes, in this case in particular, in this scenario, right, in this present time of events, right, these earthquakes, the Lord controls them. And this was just a light work, light, light earthquake, if you will. It was at a magnitude of four. 
right? It's only a matter of time. This is the Lord, like, basically showing the elect, the prophets, like, listen, you know, stop, stop bringing out these earthquakes. Earthquakes is coming. Evils are coming. All the everything that I've been prophet, everything that I've been telling you guys, uh, get ready because it's coming. Right, it's like an omen. All right. From there, let me see. There's another precept. Uh, this is beautiful. Proverbs thirty and five. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. That's right. Now let's get us. Let's go to uh, Second Ezra, uh, sixteen and eleven. The Lord shall threaten, right? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? I love this precept. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder in his presence? You can't escape the Lord's judgment. It's, if, if it's the Lord's will to get you, he's going to get you, man. This is why ain't ain't... You know, there's this people in this world that have escaped saying judgment from this certain men, right? But no one escapes the judgment from Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. You know, you can't escape. Second Ezra 16 and 12. The earth quaketh and the sea and the sea foundations thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled and the fishes thereof also before the lord and the and before the glory of his power all right the lord causes this man and this is this is this is prophecy as well if you read second Ezra 6 and the 12 this is prophecy that's coming all right especially in the times of world war three when the icbm missiles hit all right because when the icbm missiles hit the world is going to quake man and depending on what certain areas it hit, obviously it's gonna make the 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 uh, uh is it tectonic plates to shift somewhat. And what does that cause? Is earthquakes? What does the earthquake causes? It causes uh, tsunamis, if you will, right? The earth quaketh, and the foundation thereof, the sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord. And before the glory of his power. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to the video. Man couldn't do nothing with that. But God shook it. Let him know he got the whole world in his hand. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world, the world and they that dwell therein. That's, right. That's beautiful, man. I'm going to get that scripture that she got at the end. You know, I'm going to close out with that. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord does all these things, man. The Lord is that caused this, this slight earthquake and all the other earthquakes that have been happening around the world. Every single earthquake and all the earthquakes that shall, shall come at a greater scale, if you will, causing more horrific judgment judgment upon the face of the earth right uh uh that was it on that one that was it on on, on the uh, isaiah 45 and 7 right i want to get deuteronomy 32 and 39 i like this one right because it goes in with what she was saying man this is the everything's in the lord's hand this is his world deuteronomy 32 and 39 it says see now that i even i am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. No one can be delivered out of his hand if it's not the Lord's will or choice, which is the same thing. If it's not his decision. You see, no one can be delivered out of his hand. I'm going to read that again because this is powerful. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, I, Salakia, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. This is the Lord, man. This is the Heavenly Father. This is who all these Christians, uh, uh, this is a cut to all you Christians that don't understand the Lord is the one that does these judgments. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right? For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. All right now, this is this is the this is the the uh, this is the the precept that she got. Psalms twenty four and one it says a psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's. 
in the fullness thereof, in the fullness thereof the world, and they that dwell therein. So everything belongs to Yahweh, man. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. But read that again. Psalms 24 and 1, a Psalms of David. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof the world, and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it has founded it it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Right? And we're gonna leave it there. You know, this whole priest this whole chapter is beautiful. But we're gonna leave it there. Psalms 24 and 1, a Psalms of David. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. This is the Lord's, this is the Lord's movie, man. The Lord is the ultimate. The ultimate uh, 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 director, if you will. He's directing this movie. He's controlling this, right? He's the one that's causing these earthquakes. He's the one that's causing these evils. He's the one that's causing these uproars. He's the one that's going to cause kingdom against kingdom. He's going to put the spirits on uh, the, the spirit on these on these Russians to go against the United States in the time of World War Three. Get ready, man. The Lord's putting the spirit on all these nations for, for, for a great destruction for world war three this is in the lord's hands man and more earthquakes are coming at a, at a, at a greater scale if you were at a greater magnitude all right that being said you know this was this was a quick one all right uh, uh israelite granny was right or israel is israelite granny is correct or is right that being said, low will, and this one was edifying to the elect. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, right? Uh, uh, GMS, Ruwa, and Time of the Truth. Low will, and on to the next lesson. Shalom.